Tableau comes with some great color palettes that are designed to work together. But what do you do when you have your own custom color palettes you'd like to use? You can add your own custom color palettes by making a couple of simple changes to the preferences.tps file that comes installed with Tableau Desktop. For example, you may have a custom color palette to represent your company colors. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add the three different types of color palettes in Tableau. One for categorical data, a second one for sequential data, and a third one for diverging data. Let's get started. Welcome, my name is Andy, and I created this channel to share everything I know about Tableau so that you could become great. If this is your first time to this channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all of the content I create every week. And if you find this video useful, please give it a like so that others can find it too. Let me quickly explain the preferences file. This comes pre-installed with Tableau Desktop, and the only thing it's used for is to add custom color palettes. You can add as many color palettes as you'd like in this file. I have about 100 of mine, and I'll link to mine in the description. While you can have as many colors as you want in each palette, keep in mind that Tableau only displays 20, so it really doesn't make any sense to include more than 20 in each palette. Adding the colors can be a bit intimidating because it requires a bit of HTML, and you need to know the hex codes for each of the colors you want to add. But once you get the hang of it, it's pretty straightforward. I've included a link to my website in the description so that you can get the sample code you need to get started. All you need to do is copy that code, paste it into your preferences file, update the hex codes, and save. Once you restart Tableau, all those custom color palettes you added will appear. To edit the preferences file, go to the My Tableau repository in the Documents directory and open it in any text editor. When you initially open it, it's gonna look like this. And the first thing we need to do is we need to add a couple of preferences tags we need to place the preferences tags in between the workbook tags. Now we're ready to add our custom color palettes. Let's get started with categorical colors. A categorical color palette contains distinct colors for each dimension within a field. So in this example, I have a distinct color for each region because it's categorical data. Each one is an individual item. If I click on the color shelf and choose edit colors, I can pick any distinct colors that I want. When I click the Select Color Palette dropdown, I see all of the color palettes in Tableau that can be used for categorical data. So how do we add our own? Let's look at the sample code. Here at the top, we see the code that we need to add a categorical color palette. And there's a couple of things that will help Tableau know that it's a categorical color palette. We're going to use Makeover Monday colors in this example. So let's look at the brand colors for Makeover Monday. We can see we have some primary colors and we have some secondary colors. Let's build our color palette from these secondary colors. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy one of the hex codes. Now let's look at our sample code. For a categorical color palette, we need to first give it a name. So I'm going to call this Makeover Monday Categorical. And notice that the type is regular. That's how Tableau knows that it's a categorical color palette. And let's go ahead and paste in our colors. So notice that we have these color tags, and in between them we have a hash. And after the hash symbol is where we paste the hex code for the color. So I'm going to paste my first color in there. Go back over to my brand colors and copy the second color. Let's copy the third color. And let's maybe do one more. Now if I want, I could add more colors just by copying and pasting another row. So for example, I've got the same color in there twice and I want to change this one to the light blue. Once we have that updated, let's go ahead and copy that and paste it between the preferences tags. And now we have our first custom color palette that represents categorical data. If at this point you're done adding color palettes, you would save the preferences file, restart Tableau, and you'd see them show up. But I'm going to add all three of them first, and then save, and then reopen Tableau. Now let's create our sequential color palette. A sequential color palette typically contains a single color varying in intensity from light to dark. Sequential colors are typically used for continuous measures that are either all negative or all positive. In this example, I have a bar chart of sales by subcategory. I have sales, which is a continuous measure on the color shelf. And a sequential color palette is used because all of the values are positive. If I click on the color shelf and choose edit colors, Notice that the palettes I see in here are both sequential and diverging. 
The idea here though is that it's a scale from light to dark. We're gonna create a custom sequential color palette that we can then use for sales. Let's go back over to our sample code. For a sequential color palette, again, we have to give the palette a name, but the key for Tableau to know that it's to be used for sequential data is this type over here on the right-hand side. It says ordered sequential. It has to be exactly like that. So our palette, we'll call it Makeover Monday Sequential. And let's pick a couple of colors. Let's say we want our darkest color to be this blue here. So I'm gonna copy that blue, and I'm actually gonna make that my third color because I want it to go from light to that color. And all I care about is it going from white, so basically no color, to the blue. So my color for white is FFFFFF. And I don't want any other colors in this palette, so I'm just gonna hit delete on my second one. And now I only have two colors in this color palette. It's gonna go from white to dark blue. Let's copy this color palette, go to our preferences file, and add it between the preferences tags. Again, we need to save the preferences file, restart Tableau, and then the sequential color palette would show up. We've now covered categorical and sequential color palettes. It's time to see how we can create a diverging color palette. In this example, I'm showing profit by state. Some of the states are negative and some are positive. Therefore, Tableau automatically chooses a diverging color palette. The larger the number, either positive or negative, the stronger the intensity. A diverging color palette uses two colors to represent the range of the data. It also uses color intensity to show the magnitude of the number. Diverging color palettes are most commonly used to show the differences between positive and negative numbers. There's usually some kind of natural midpoint. So for profit, our midpoint would be zero. We'd have one color for the negative, one color for the positive. The more positive and negative they are, the darker the shade. The less positive and negative, the lighter the shade. Another example may be where you're trying to measure something against the goal, so sales versus budget. You might be either above or below the budget, so one color would be negative and one color would be positive. The steps for adding a diverging color palette are the same. All we need to do is change the type of color palette. So let's switch back over to our color palette code. And the third type of color palette we have here is ordered diverging. Again, it has to be exactly like this in order for Tableau to use it as a diverging color palette. Let's go back over to our Makeover Monday colors. And I'm gonna say for my negative colors, I want them to go to this lighter shade of red. So I'm gonna paste that color in there. Now my midpoint, I want to be white in the middle. So I wanted to go from the red to white and then the white to blue. So for my second color, I'm gonna put FFF, FFF to represent white. My third color, I'm gonna make this blue here. So I'm gonna paste that in. And if you have more steps in the range, that's okay. You just put them in here. So for example, if you have different shades of red you'd like to use when you go from the most negative down to zero, you could just include those as additional colors. I'm gonna remove my extra color, give the color palette a name. I'll call this one Makeover Monday Diverging. Copy the code, go to my preferences file, paste that code in, and now I'm all done. Let's save. My preference file is now updated, and I should see three custom color palettes when I restart Tableau. I'm gonna save Tableau, and then I'm gonna go ahead and restart. Tableau is now restarted, so let's go ahead and open our workbook. Let's go over to our categorical tab, and we have our colors for our regions. I'm gonna click on the color shelf, choose edit colors, and now when I look at my list of color palettes and scroll to the bottom, I'm gonna have one called Makeover Monday Categorical. I can go ahead and assign the colors. I'm just gonna click on Assign Palette and it'll give me the first four. Click on OK, and now I have my custom color palette for my regions. Let's now check out what happens when we go to sequential data. The data is still blue because I haven't changed it. Let's click on the color shelf, edit colors, and now when we click on our dropdown, notice that the categorical color palette is no longer there. So I'm gonna click on Makeover Monday Sequential. Hit OK. And now we have our custom color palette for sales for sequential data. Let's go to our diverging palette. Click on the color shelf, edit colors. And now in my list, I could pick Makeover Monday Diverging. Now when I use a diverging color palette, I like to click on this advanced button and force the center to zero because that's my natural midpoint. Click on OK. And now I have custom diverging colors for my map. 
If I want to set a default color palette, I can do that from the data pane. I'm going to right click on profit, choose default properties, color, and in the palette, I'm going to pick Makeover Monday Diverging, click on Advanced, and make sure I force the center to zero, and click on OK. I'm going to right click on Sales, Default Properties, Color, and in my palette list, I'm going to choose Makeover Monday Sequential. Click on OK. And now, if I want to look at Sales by State, I can drag Sales on the color, and I see my Makeover Monday Sequential color palette by default. Again, the steps are quite simple. I'm going to provide that sample code in the link in the description. For the type of color palette you need to use, just update the name of the palette, make sure the type is correct, add your hex codes, copy and paste it into your preferences file, click on save, restart Tableau, and you're all done. And there you have it. You now know how to add three different types of color palettes in Tableau. Using custom color palettes can make a huge difference in your visualizations. Now that you know how to create them, how do you plan to use them? Share them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a like. Click on subscribe and check out this playlist and this video to help you learn more. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.